Hi there, handbaggers. This is the Military Mom coming to you from the Duck's Nest with a couple of topics in this video, some current events, and then of course a handbag. So I wanted to start off my current events by talking about Justified, who was the winner of the Kentucky Derby and Justified also won the Preakness. So Justified only has one more race to win, which is a Belmont Stakes, and he will become another Triple Crown winner. That's, to me, always exciting. I remember back in the Secretariat days, and for those of you who are too young, yeah, we're talking 1973. Secretariat won the Triple Crown, and in my mind, there is never going to be a horse that can touch Secretariat. Yeah shows how old I am. Anyway, the second current event is, has anyone been paying attention to what is going on on the Big Island? Kilauea is taking over. Kilauea is just erupting. It's crazy. I am watching fissures open. I am watching Kilauea spew lava. I'm watching Kilauea just actually be destructive. Because I think to date, there have been 40 homes that have been destroyed. So I am really, my heart goes out to the people in Hawaii. But um, Kilauea is such a interesting natural phenomenon. Because while the lava destroys, on the other hand, when it cools, it creates new land. So that is just interesting um, but again I do feel for the people who have lost their homes in that lava flow um, the final current event is did anyone get up on Saturday morning to watch the wedding of Prince Harry and Meghan Markle I watched the wedding on YouTube later but it had been a rough week at work and I just could not bring myself to lose any sleep by getting up at four o'clock in the morning and watching that wedding. Now, when his mother married Prince Charles, I did get up <laughs> back in 1981, yes. And then I think even when Kate and William were married, I think I may have watched that one as well, but yeah, it's just, it was, it was a really nice wedding. It's just, it wasn't quite nice enough for me to get up at four o'clock in the morning. Anyway, on to the handbag portion of this video. And what I wanted to talk about with you all today is one of the most popular Dooney and Burt silhouettes in the past five years. Actually, this is not a new silhouette. It's been recreated in the last five years. And it is this one, the ever popular Zip Zip Satchel. This bag, I don't have to do a lot of introduction because everyone's familiar with good old Zip Squared. And this bag, if you are a true Dunanista, you probably have in your collection or at one point have had in your collection because it came in so many colors and textures. It was kind of hard not to own a Zip Zip. So I wanted to talk about what I like about Zip Zip and what maybe I thought could be improved about Zip Zip. The first thing I have to say is I really like this silhouette. This bag is not wide and those of you who have watched a couple of videos on my channel know I do not carry a big bag generally. So Zip Zip is almost like the perfect size bag for me. She is... easy to access. It doesn't get any easier than that. She opens wide and I just think that this is a very simple functional bag. Love her rolled handles. I am really drawn to any bag that has rolled handles. She doesn't have whip stitched handles and these aren't the thickest rolled handles, but I think they work well with this bag. Her 
gold logo plate on top of the leather patch there. I think it's a perfect detail for this bag. And here are a couple of things I would have liked to have seen differently. This leather, I would have loved if they had done the entire bottom of the bag in this leather. And let us talk about the shoulder strap. So this is my pebble leather in the color sage. I also have zip squared in Saffiano in the color charcoal. Let me just show you how she looks on with this crazy shoulder strap. Yes, the fly up. What is that all about? Right? Oh my gosh. This could have been done so much better. <laughs> I do not understand why no one realized that when you attach the shoulder strap, that it would cause these handles to do weird things. Yes, we all know that. And I think some of us have gone to the lengths of adding D-rings. I was not going there. I feel like Dooney should have addressed that at the beginning. So I tend to carry my zips in my hand. I don't even carry them on the crook of my arm. I just basically carry my zips like this. And these two leathers I really like because as we know, Sapiano is pretty almost indestructible. And the pebble leather is only going to get softer with time. And these handles, as we know, will only patina and make the bag even better. So if you look at my Sapiano, you will see that she has braided and longer leather, I'm, I'm sorry, uh, zipper pulls than my pebble leather. It would have been great if they had done the leather pulls, the leather braided pulls on the pebble. Another thing is my Saffiano, it's total Saffiano, there's no contrasting color, <clears throat> which I really like about this bag. I'm sorry, I think we lost the sun, so my lighting is a little dark here. And I want to show you something else. You see how easily the zipper on Zip Zip operates? So I like Zip Squared so much that I bought this Aubrey satchel because the Aubrey has the same basic shape as the Zip Zip. Aubrey is a larger bag. She's more square, where Zip's more rounded. She's taller than Zip, and Aubrey has the whip stitching on her rolled handles. And the one thing that I like about Aubrey the most is that Aubrey has a front pocket. Her front pocket, the gusset, is done in leather, where on Zip, gusset is done in fabric. I don't know that I would have preferred leather, but I don't know how that would have worked out because Zip's lining is um, fabric. So the other feature that I love about Aubrey is 
oh my gosh, these tassels are probably out of all the bags I own and all the tassels on those bags, these are my favorite tassels. There's no lining, it's just all leather and they're really substantial tassels. And I'm wondering if I would have liked zip with tassel pulls. What do you think? I know I would have liked the braided leather pulls. I think, what do you think? The tassel pulls. Anyways, now that I am on my Aubrey, let me show you what I did not and have never really liked about this bag. This zipper. Yep, she does this every single time, which is why I don't carry Aubrey a lot. I think you get the picture, but I think she's a really, really nice bag. Her size is nice. She has some really nice details, but that zipper is the devil. Okay, so the zip zip is overall, I really like her. And one thing that I think would have been made, would have made zip even better is if she had had a back pocket for my cell phone, even a little slip pocket would have been great. I would probably carry this bag a lot more than I do, but I have no trouble with her zippers and she opens wide and she holds what I need. So here is my impression of the best selling ever popular Zip Zip compared to the Aubrey. All right, well, I don't think I have anything else to share with you all in this video. Maybe I do. Okay, one, one last thing. One last thing that I like about her zippers is the way that they did the connection. She laid, her zipper pulls lay flat either on the front of the bag or on the back of the bag. They don't fly up, they lay flat, which I really like because they just kind of fall into place. And handbaggers I think that is it so for this video I bid you adieu and as always happy carrying